listening to Lips 106. 106. You're tuned to Lips. Hoy, I tell you, don't touch that radio. reading the Liberty Train, and it says, in nearby Carcer City, a good day for law and order as police chief Gary Shaver was cleared of corruption charges in a controversial decision by the courts. Let's hope those missing witnesses turn up safe and sound. Lips 106. We've got a new friend for everyone. He's got fur and a tail. He gets in lots of trouble, but he's a bouncy little fellow because he's got springs for legs. Pogo the Monkey, the best new video game for the whole family. I love you, Pogo. You bound. Help Pogo escape from the evil research laboratory where the mean old scientist genetically altered him. Uh-oh, the pharmaceutical scientist is going to get you, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a gold coin. Good thing Pogo has a banana cannon. Those nasty scientists deserve to die. Get the shampoo manufacturers before they squirt it in your eye. Here you go, Pogo. Have a diamond. You'll guide Pogo through tons of fun adventures, including saving Timmy, who fell down the well. Help! <laughs> Here you go, Pogo. Have a big watch. Rescue a cat out of that tree with your banana cannon, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a fast car. And help Pogo to his final mission, to storm the White House with his friends and become President of the United States. Pogo the Monkey is the game kids are sure to stare at for hours. Everyone loves Pogo. Idiot Gamer called Pogo the best sp- The lady in your life, why not Pogo the Monkey chocolates and hygiene products so she smells like a real monkey? And for kids, a life-size, living, breathing, springing monkey. All available at PogoTheMonkey.com. Yeah. 
for our live webcast Liberty City Survivor Natural Selection has come home Stretch your arms strong This is now when you're world What's cracking Liberty City? My name is Stretch Arms Strong and you're still in tune with Game Radio What's the deal or fear? Yo, yo, my fault, my fault, B, yo The two way is crazy right now, man Yo, these game girls is talking about doing it at the after party out here in Liberty City, y'all. You know we got something going on. Popping bottles, Dom P in it, Chris styling it, Henny thugging it. You know how we do out here, y'all. Hi, I'm Candy, one of the sexy game girls. You can catch all of us lovely ladies doing our thing at hiphophoneys.com. It ain't no thing but a chicken wing with a big butt laying on your lap. Game radio, you listen to Lord Say it was Puerto Rican and black. Having a good time, drinking the wine. Every time it's playtime. Over here at Game Radio, y'all. And check us out at GameCrib.com, y'all. We gotta keep it moving right now. Stay tuned.
with some breakdown. Doing everything, but yeah, he treated me really good. And then it all went wrong, and so, you know, I found someone else, and he seems real nice, but, you know, he don't talk too much, so I really can't tell if he likes me. And, well, I guess what I want to know is, you know, how do you tell if a guy is serious? I mean, you know, he treats me good, but he don't seem real interested in me. You know, he's always working and hanging out with the guys. Um, say, you don't think he's like you, do you? What do you mean, like me? Well, what are you insinuating? Th that he's on the radio? Well, probably not. Um, y you're listening to Chatterbox, where your opinion matters, or at least we say that. Let's go over here to line four. Hello, caller, what's your name? Jeff from Rockford. Hello, Jeff, what's up? I wanted to tell you and your listeners about a once-in-a-lifetime chance to make a difference. There's a rally tomorrow evening at the park, starting at 7. Although we'll be painting banners and singing songs all night and all day to prepare for it. Then, when tens of thousands are gathered in the park, we're going to march on the town hall. Laszlo, the people have spoken, and they have said no, not in my town. So folks, if you're listening and want to make a difference, get yourself down to the park and prepare to bring democracy back to the people. So what's this rally about, Jeff? It's about people standing up and being counted. It's about the future. It's about telling those morons in the suits, no thanks, not in my town. Not while I have a breath in my body and hope in my soul. I will not, I cannot let this pass. Let what pass? It's about grabbing the town by the balls and saying, listen, son, time to put up or shut up. No more you know, Mr. Nice Guy. No more easy solutions to difficult problems. It's about what it means to be an American. It's about giving something back. Giving what back, Jeff? Hope, dreams, belief. Belief in what? I mean, look, Jeff, I, I admire your passion. Really, I do. But what will people be marching for? What, what's your rally about? It's about justice, Mr. Lowe. A chance to shine and make a difference. About thousands of people walking side by side in front of us. Only one thing on their mind. The chance to make a difference. Bring your friends. Nothing shows a man how much you mean to him more than the chance to walk together for justice. Bring your kids. They can paint signs and we'll even have a face painter and a vegan barbecue. Bring your parents. Even their elderly care about the bar. I understand that. It sounds like a great rally, but we're not a political station and you haven't really told us why people should do 